Hi, and welcome to a new video regarding Unity. And this time we we're talking about skyboxes and how you can create your own skyboxes from your own content without having to search for fitting content or something like this. So let's get started directly. And let's first of all, check out the Unity Asset Store for already existing skyboxes. And as you can see, there is a lot of them. I only searched for skybox and I have around 2000 results for that. A lot of them are free and there are a lot of very, very good skyboxes. Most of the time you will find something that will fit your needs. But sometimes you either need your own content or you need something that's not in the asset store or somewhere else. There is a need for you to create your own skyboxes. And in this video, I'll show you how you can do that with a minimum effort and use pre-made tools for that. So in the Unity Asset Store, there are a lot of tools too, and you can feel free to check them out. Most of them work just fine. On GitHub, there are a lot of tools again, but the easiest way for everyone who is familiar with Unity and doesn't want any third party packages in his project or her project, because there are already so many packages in there and you don't want another one or you want to configure everything yourself, there is a very easy way by doing so by using the camera render to cube map, for instance. You can render the current camera image to a cube map here. And the documentation is pretty good. There is a very good code sample. I mean, there are more very good code samples using the Unity cube map and render textures, for instance for doing stereoscopic or monoscopic rendering for stereo or mono 360 captures. Especially this part here at the end is a very good example and sample code how you can do that. And the rendered cube map as well as the convert to Equirect are methods very good described in the Unity documentation. And with minimum effort, you can create your own 360 stereo or monoscopic rendering here. And if you're, for instance, developing for MetaQuest, the Meta tool set is pretty good. There is a tool called CubeMap, uh, the OVR screenshot wizard, which lets you easily render um, cube maps or PNGs from the current camera view. And there is another tool in there. We will have a look at that in a second, which lets you take screenshots during runtime or with a hotkey. And we'll have a look at that too. And first of all, we're going to open a classical render scene, the classic sponsor from GitHub. Unity already published this years ago. And feel free to download that. Please note that you will have to clone the project. So do not download the release or the source code zip here because it's using LFS, the Git LFS, large file support. And without that, um, there will be no 3D geometry within your project. So I already did that up in Unity here. Here is the sponsor scene. Everything is opened. I rendered the light maps already. Everything is set up. So I opened the sponsor scene, opened the sponsor lighting day two, rendered the lighting with high quality and everything is set up. We can now go to the package manager, go to my assets. If I already have added it here, and the meta core SDK is the package we want to open here. I'm using Unity 2021. 20, By the way, it will work with newer versions of Unity 2. Installing the package. This will take some time. After we imported the meta package, we have a meta tools and the OVR screenshot wizard over here. So we can select where to render from. I selected the camera one here, which is already more or less in the position where I want to render. And the size and I want to save the cube map screenshot and the unity cube map in this folder. So I click render on cube map and on OK to render it into the specific folder. 
And after it is saved, we see here in the preview that the cube map itself looks pretty strange as it's more bright in different regions. And this is pretty easy explained. Here's the cube map screenshot itself. Now let's, let's make a preview first. Click on scene settings, um, go to HDR sky and select our first screenshot and move out of the scene. Here we go. Here we see that the seams are on a different bright brightness level, and this looks not how it should look like. So let's change that back to the usual skybox. And if we move around in the scene, we see it when entering darker places, the image will brighten up, and when leaving places, it will darken. So this is actually more realistic and it's the exposure value. And if we now go to post processing and set the exposure instead of automatic to fixed, all the exposure all around will stay the same regardless of where we are moving. And if we're now doing the VR panoramic rendering again, at our tools, OVR screenshot wizard, save both, render and save. We're now selecting the skybox in the HDR sky and look around. We'll see that the skybox now looks right. Everything look, is looking pretty good. And we rendered our own skybox here. So let's go down and replace it with the default value and look at the preview. Here it goes. Looks pretty good, and it's our own content. So we can we can use that either the skybox created here, the Unity cube map, or the cube map screenshot, which can also be used to create skyboxes. That's a very easy way. And there is another tool which is called the OVR cube map. It's not an S; it's just in all packages. Cube map capture probe. It's also a cool tool, so we're just adding that to the scene. And auto trigger after launch with one second delay. There is a trigger by key and the pad name. We just copied it from the um, screenshot tool. Let's see if this will need the full path name here. Cube map. Yes, cubemap.png, and let's check if the texture is cubemaps. And there is the cubemap.png. Again, it's the same as the picture that we took earlier. It's just a little bit different from the height because it uses the position of the probe, and the probe is a little bit more up. So in up here, and the cubemap looks like this. This can also be used to create a new skybox. And that's basically it. You can easily create skyboxes or cube maps during runtime or from the editor with the meta tools, or you can just use everything that Unity provides to render your own cube map and convert it to Accurate. So I hope that helps. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment if you if this video was helpful to you. And again, special thanks to the channel members who support the channel. Although it's just a small support, it really helps. And I would encourage you to subscribe here too. Become a channel member. I'll try to be more active within the next weeks, months, and years and to provide you more knowledge. And then I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.